Hey G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? Hey G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode has this cool design right here, and pretty much what this is, is an ANC noise cancellation headphone, or it's a wireless earbud if you guys want to call it correctly. For this one in particular, you can see it from this brand, and for the one that we got right here is the NC9. For this brand, that should make a lot of different type of wireless earbuds and other products as well, but this time we do have this one. So this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So first the inside right here, we do have a little envelope. If you guys do take it out, inside they do provide you guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. So for this one right here, you can see they do provide you guys the user manual and the quick starter guide. So that way if you guys don't want to read too much, you guys can use this one instead. But they do provide you guys all the instruction in terms of how to connect it and how to use it for each different button control on here. If you guys don't play the song, skip the song and etc. And right underneath that, we do have the actual product and they do provide you guys a little box with the accessory. Let's take this out first. So let's do open up. Inside right here, they do provide you guys a USB to USB-C cable that you can use to recharge the product. And right here, we do have a little baggie if you guys do open it. Inside, they do provide you guys a bunch of these extra air tips, air buds that you can use to change it based on your own preference. Some of them are for like medium, some of them are large, and some of them are small. So then feel free to change it based on your own preference in terms of which one you guys need for your ear. They do have different sizes available. And the very last thing that we do have right here is the actual product. If you can see for the one that we got right here, it is like a khaki color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see what you prefer. But on top of right here, we see we do have the brand name. Fan part right here, we do have the indicator light to show you guys the battery percentage on here when you guys do use it. Back part right here, we do have the option for you guys to plug in the cable to recharge the product. And that is everything that's on here. So if you guys do open up, you guys will open up in the front right here. And this is what the inside looks like. So once you guys do take it out, that is what the inside looks like there. And then right here, we got the earbud. So one is left and one is right. You guys can see from right here. And on our side, you can see we do have the two little holes. And pretty much what those are, are the microphone that's built on. So that way you can use it to make calls, etc. And if it's the first time using the product, you do want to peel this tape off in order for you guys to do the wireless charging option on here. So same thing for the other one, remove it. Once you guys do that, if you guys put it back in, once you guys put it back in, you can see how it starts charging. So currently the case itself is fully charged. You can see how all four light is on. And we have to open it. It does show you guys inside here as well. So I guess for these are indicated light and there's probably a microphone on the side or somewhere. But that is everything that's on here. One do right now is to take it out, put it into our ear and connect it and see how it does work. So let's put it on. So once you guys do put it on, this is what it looks like. So here is this side and here is our side. And immediately once we do put it on, I definitely notice that there's like a noise isolation or cancellation on here immediately before we turn it on. So I can't imagine what it actually sounds like when it does turn on with the ANC option, unless it's already on already. And I do have to mention that when we do put it on, it feels really nice. It's actually pretty comfortable and it's not in the way or uncomfortable. But what I want to do right now is connect it on to Bluetooth. All right, so I got connected. What I want to do right now is play a song on here and see how it does work. And we'll also try out the touch controls. All right, so I got everything all set up. So they mentioned on here, if you guys want to play and pause the music, tap it one time on either side. All right, so it doesn't seem like on either side, it had to work on one side because when I tap on this side, it turns on transparency mode. So I guess once you guys do put it on, it does have the NC option because when I tap it right now, when I do hear the transparency mode, I hear everything very clearly in terms of all the noise in my surrounding. So I'm actually turning it on. All right, so we got NC on. It definitely makes a huge difference when we do use it. So let's try tapping this side and see what it actually looks like. All right. All right, let's see what it sounds like when we do use it. All right, so when you listen to the audio and the bass on here, it definitely sounds pretty good. It has a good balance of everything when we do use it and it's not overpowering uh, like too much audio, too much bass, which is really nice. Especially for the price that you guys are paying for the product, it's actually pretty good as well. But now let's try the other touch control on here and see how it does work. So if you guys want to skip the song or go back to the previous song, you guys want to double tap it. So let's give it a try. All right, let's go back. All right, and if you guys want to increase or lower the volume, you want to press and hold it on both sides. So one side to up, one side to go down. Let's give it a try.
all right so let me see it does work and they mentioned if you guys want to answer a call or reject a call you guys want to press and hold the button when you guys do get a call and if you guys want to activate the voice assistant you guys want to tap it three times on the either ear so let's give it a try so one two three you can see it does work and like i mentioned earlier if you guys want to turn on or turn off the nc you guys want to tap it on the left side one time so now we do have transparency mode if you guys tap on again now we have ANC mode on and when we do use the ANC option on here, it definitely makes a difference when you guys do use it. It literally cancels a lot of surrounding noise, which is really cool, especially when you guys are flying on a plane or something. But one right now, after we test everything out, I do want to do one more test, which is the uh, microphone on here to see what it sounds like. So right here, we do have the recorder. Let's give it a try. All right. So what you guys are listening to right now is the audio that's coming from the headphone right here. You guys can hear what it sounds like. You guys can hear the difference between this one and the iPhone. Now let me actually listen to actually see what it sounds like when we do use it. All right, so after listening to audio on here, it definitely sounds pretty good. It's obviously not as like super high quality compared to many other like studio microphones, like the one I'm using like on here. But for what you guys are getting on the AirPod, it's actually pretty good. If you guys are already getting everything else I mentioned in terms of the high quality audio, high quality bass, high quality ANC option, and the transparency mode on here and so much more, which is pretty cool. And I do have to say that it's actually pretty cool how this product has like the Bluetooth 5.3 option as well, which is one of the latest Bluetooth technology on here. So that is pretty much everything that's on product. One do right now is to do actually one more test because I forgot to do it earlier, which is to show you guys how to charge it and how to know when it's charging. So what I want to do is put it back inside. Close it up. I want to plug in the cable in the back right here. And once you guys do plug it in, if you guys look at the fan part here, that is how I know when it's charging. So I'm assuming once all four lights lights up or stays on or turns off, then that is how you guys know when it's fully charged. But that is pretty much how you guys do charge the product. And that is pretty much everything that's on product. Now to go unboxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality, affordable wireless earbud, that's everything that I mentioned in terms of high quality audio, high quality bass, very comfortable design the ANC option, transparency mode, and so much more, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those you guys who don't want, or don't need one, or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one, and save them something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. Be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.